Hi, welcome to the Bareface Kitchen. I'm Dale Pinnock, the medicinal chef, and here with me again is Michelle Heaton. Hi. Michelle Heaton, everybody. So, so I'm going to make um, some nice little snack bars. One of the problems that a lot of people come up against when they're mm -hmm. wanting to eat healthier is um, options for when they're kind of on the go and they yes. want to reach for something. I hear that all yeah, the time. Especially like if you drive a lot and like you rely yeah. on service stations and things exactly. like that. And people never know what to reach for when they always reach for the wrong thing. Always reach for the but wrong thing. Be something, prepared. Be prepared, exactly. Something like this, um, so simple to make, mm -hmm. really, really nutrient dense. They fill you up, they kind of tick the, the, the sort of sweet indulgent box a little yes, bit as well. Yes, they do, absolutely. But there's no nasties in there. So, what I'm going to get you to do, Ooh, no what, butternut do I get squash. To do yes, no, but, no butternut squash okay. at all. Is could you get the stones out of these? Um, no, really? Out of the dates for me, please. Yeah. Okay. What, what did you want to do? Something else? I don't know. Like, yeah. okay, so I've cut squash twice. Yeah. And now I'm getting stones out, yeah. and you won't even let me stir apart. Well, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm going to do is melt. See, the abuse has started already. It doesn't take. Do long I need to get the stone? Oh, there's no stone in that one. Oh, they're stoneless. Yeah, try that oh. one. <laughs> so, right, okay. going to melt about four tablespoons of coconut oil. And that is going to be the thing that binds everything together. This is literally everything into a food processor and okay. uh, then into the fridge. Could Perfect. Not get and this is really easy to make for the whole family, right? Super easy, yeah, absolutely. And you've got a bit of like cacao powder in there as well, or just a, a good cocoa powder. So, it's got. It's got the chocolatey flavour, you've got the dates in there, so it gives it the sweetness. Yeah. But then you've Love got serious the amounts dates. of nutrients as well. And here in dates, you've got iron, for example. Yeah. In all of these nuts and seeds, you've got zinc, you've got selenium, you've got vitamin E, you've got all sorts of goodies. But I'll talk a little bit more about that when I get onto them. Awesome. So it's just going to melt this. It's going to take, what, a couple of minutes. I'm getting on. You are? I'm are you stirring? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm stirring but for all of like two seconds. Whilst that's melting, I'm going to start putting some of these in here. So I've got sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds, and some of these bad boys. What are they? Goji Go, berries. I knew now, that's what you were going to say they were. I have never seen a more berries. hyped ingredient than these. Yeah, I, mean, I don't well, get that. Like, I know. Well, are goji berries supposed to like, make you all of a sudden be skinny? Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, when they first <laughs> came on the seed, it's like, my God, if you believe everything, make you fly or walk on water or whatever. Yeah. You know, they're, they're a nutrient dense ingredient. They're great, but you know, they're, they're, they're not, not this kind of not... panacea that people made them out to be. There's, there's a fair amount of vitamin C in there. Yeah. Um, they do um, contain selenium. They do contain polysaccharides, similar to the ones that you'd find in shiitake mushrooms. Oh. So I remember like, on, a, on another video, we were talking about shiitake mushrooms and their influence That's on the right. immune system. Similar compounds found in goji berries. Okay, so everyone obviously needs to watch that other video to understand Absolutely. what we're talking about. Yep, yep. It's a little teaser there. So the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds, vitamin E, zinc, a few more pumpkin seeds, I think. And flax seeds, flax seeds, uh, have you used these much? Yes, flax seeds, um, we, we have always a, a pouch next to our um, condiment stand, where yeah. we, when we put it into Sprinkling our um, yeah, breakfast mainly, to be honest. Have you noticed they, they can sometimes give a gloopy texture? Yeah, can, yeah. Now that is like one of the keys to their benefits. Okay. That, they're gloopy. They're, they're gloopy, they're, yeah. So, so doubles um, up as Pritt stick. <laughs> <laughs> All paper ah, paste, ah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, I know I've, I've got to laugh like a Bond villain, okay. I just need to go. <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I doing more, have I got enough? Do, uh, all of them. All, all of them. Yeah. Go nuts. Well, that gloopy stuff, Yes. that soluble fibre, will actually help um, digestive transit. Wow. And if everybody's seen the other videos, they'd realise that every meal that we've made helps with going to the toilet. <laughs> Cheers for that. And the cardiovascular system. Now, does this help the cardiovascular system? Please this, tell me it does. This is just a good that snack. Just make my I'm, just, day. I'm just not taking your abuse anymore. Are <laughs> now, this is just. It's not abuse. It's it's healthy, friendly banter. I know. Pull this, I mean, the this best does, yeah. out of you for this video. This does have some benefits in the cardiovascular system. You touched um, me. Because of the vitamin E, <laughs> the vitamin E content, it does have a bit of a, a, an anticoagulant effect, so it, it can reduce excessive clotting. So he agrees. 
Yeah, yeah, the baby. Yeah, we have we have um, a mascot. Yes, it's the official studio baby. Yeah, yes. we should have a picture of the official studio baby. Just so that people know that we don't just have like a grown man in the background <laughs> making baby noises. Yeah. It's been a long day for him, yeah. that's it. <laughs> hey Joseph! Oh, look at the size of that dummy! <laughs> oh my god! Poor Joseph! <laughs> I've never quite seen one like that before. <laughs> so coconut oil's melted, all the... Um... Okay, oh, there's a date. Ready? Heads up. <laughs> <laughs> date in the eye. Okay. So, some cocoa powder. You can use the raw <laughs> cacao powder or a really good quality cocoa powder. Now, this does, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm going to sound like a broken record. There are cardiovascular benefits for this for the simple reason that it's very rich in flavonoids, um, being widely studied in, in this country, chocolate particularly, can lower blood pressure. Basically. That is not a go and eat whatever chocolate you want, Pat. No, that's not at all. That's yeah, because I think that's where it's people get confused. Yeah, they go, oh, chocolate's good for me. Yeah, it's suddenly down an advent calendar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. A little bit of cinnamon. It's just everything in moderation. Yeah. You need good quality um, dark chocolate. Yeah. Like, how much percent dark chocolate is good? Well, I would say if you can go for 80, do it. I mean, it's quite bitter, so yeah. it's not everyone's. But if you're going to have something to take the edge off your appetite or something sweet, 80%, a couple of pieces kind of knock that on its head because it's so bitter and you get what you need out of it. Yeah. You're or not eat something like this. Something like or, this. You've got the sweetness. This. But then you've got the, the chocolate flavour in there as well. He's dancing. That looks awesome. Say what? Awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Right. So that's everything in. Is that like, see how yeah, simple that it's was? Done. Right, I'm and like, obviously you want um, you want some coarseness, you want a little bit of texture. Wow. Which you've got. Can I taste it like that? You can if you want. Can I? Yeah. It's like when your mum lets you eat the, um, the cake mixture. Wow. Yeah, have a bash on that. Oh my goodness. It's all right, isn't it? It's all good. See, it's, it's, it's sweet. Why it's got wait the... for it to harden? Just eat it like that. Yeah, we're actually not going to do the rest of it. We're just going to eat <laughs> this and we'll see you later. So. That is awesome. Okay. Mmm. Sorry, very uh, it's incredible. I'm Sorry, fresh. Yeah, I'm doing, it, doing a video with my mouth full. So this literally will push into this mould. Beautiful. And the coconut oil is the thing that's going to actually bind it all together. We're going to put it in the fridge. Okay. Leave it. You don't need to leave it long. I mean, 20, 25 minutes. Okay. If you, if you want them really, really speedily, you can throw them in the, th the freezer as well. But just keep your eye on them. Speedily? Speedily. Is that a word yeah. in the dictionary? Well, speedily, yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm getting a no. I'm getting speedily. A, you've no. never you've never heard of the word speedily. I've heard it said before, but it's usually by people who don't know what the dictionary is. <laughs> oh, nine books. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Streetwise. That's all that I'm saying. I've, I have you know I have a high IQ. Literally, just put it in the fridge for about 20, 25 minutes, and then. That happens bars. <laughs> I'm just eating the unfrozen That's all right. mixture. That's all good, it's not too bad. So we've got okay. 25 minutes to kill, so should we go for a what? bit of a walk? Okay. Let's go for a walk. Killed a few minutes, didn't it? Yeah, and okay. a few calories. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can stock those up. Yeah. Because they're ready. Okay. Good. Shut. 
Right, if I clear this, some of this junk out of the way. Are you going to cut? Do you need a knife? Uh, yes, the, the biggest one, biggest please. One. So, this is where I have to tease it out of here without breaking it. There we go. Wow. See? That is awesome. Cut it into bars. I mean, obviously, you can put it, you can put it into cake cases, you can do all sorts of things with it. I'm just cut into it like wow. that. Wow. And there we go. Would that be nice with a little bit of um, frozen yogurt on the side? Yeah, why not? Do you want to try a bit? What, frozen yogurt? Or? <laughs> <laughs> okay. A bit of fridge cake. Here's the taste test. Ready? I'm going to go for it Cheers. as well, yeah. Mmm. You've done yourself there. That's amazing. Nice, isn't it? But yep. Beautiful. Obviously, it's very, very portable. Mm -hmm. It's really nutrient dense, it's sweet, it's got the chocolatey vibe as well. Everything about it is good. Well, good endorsement there. So, um, yeah, there we go. Fabulous fridge cakes, that's what I call them. Fabulous. Fantastic.